Hey everyone, Cole and Raquel here on our way to the AC Boat Show. See you there. Up first, we have the 400cc World Cat, powered by twin 425 Yamahas. This boat had a lot of nice features. It has a really wide beam, live wells, forward facing seats on a sliding system so you can move around them. It even had a head with plenty of room in it. Up next, we have the Everglades 395 center console. This boat comes at a really high price tag. It was very nice with some nice finishes inside of it. It has two transom live wells and in the center of the live wells, a really big fish box with a chiller in it. Next up was Scout, Sailfish, and Cape Horn. Then we have the Pursuit Dual Console 365 with nice bow seating. On the starboard side of the boat, we have the head and a separate shower and separate sink. On the starboard side of the boat, we have sleeping quarters. Next up, we have the Pursuit Offshore 385. Had really nice seating in the helm area, plenty of room for everyone. Also had a really well laid out cabin area with plenty of space to sleep, with a nice table, everything you could need. Next up, we have the Jupiter 38, powered by triple Yamaha 300s. This boat was also equipped with a Sea Keeper. I loved the upholstery on this boat. It was very detailed and looked really clean in white. It also had a really nice lounger in front of the console with armrests and cup holders, as well as forward-facing seats. I did think the head area on this boat was a little small for a 38-foot boat, but it did have a plumbed head and a sink. Next up, we have the Twin V 340 GFX Catamaran. The first thing I noticed when walking up to this boat was the cooler on the transom. 
This was a really nice feature because it keeps it out of the way, especially if you wanted to have people sitting in the back of the boat in bean bags, then the cooler is not in their way. There were three rear facing seats as well as two captain seats. Another thing I really liked about this boat is that it had plenty of cup holders. You can never have too many. Moving towards the bow, it had full storage under the lounger. As you can see, we put our friend Jake in there to show how much room there really was. It also had a plumbed head, which was a decent amount of space for a catamaran. Then we moved on to the Regulator 31 in ocean blue, which was a new hull color, and I must say it was beautiful. With the white powder coating and white upholstery, it all looked really clean. This boat was also equipped with a Sea Keeper 2 and a joystick. I also liked the collapsible backrests on the forward seating. And the head area was really nice. It had a countertop, mirror, a plumbed head, and a sink, and there was plenty of room in there. Up next, we have Contender. They had a 39FA, a 32ST, and a 28T. Starting with the 28T, it has a single live well in the transom. The leaning post has cup holders and rod holders with room for a cooler underneath. And this boat has forward seating in the bow and a small area with a plumbed head. The 32ST has dual live wells in the transom, a slide out cooler with rod holders and a tackle station on the leaning post, two captain's chairs, and a plumbed slide out head in the console. The Contender 39 FA was by far one of my favorite boats that we saw today. Powered by triple 400 Mercuries. I loved the leaning post with the bench seat and the slide out cooler and the rod holders. And this had a custom built tower on it. Also had a really huge lounger in the front, which was really nice. And the cabin area on this boat was even nicer. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we have the Grady White Canyon 306. It had a collapsible seat in the transom, which was nice, but I just don't feel like there's enough room on these boats, but some people love them. It did have a nice head area and ample forward seating. Then we have the Sea Fox 328 Commander. This boat has dual live wells in the transom, as well as two collapsible seats. I loved the leaning post area on this boat. It has a cutting area, a sink with a slide out cooler, and plenty of rod holders. They're all powder coated white, but by far my favorite part of this boat is the bow area. The way the seating is laid out for rear or forward facing with the collapsible table and that lounger with cup holders and armrests is just perfect for those sandbar days. This boat also had a nice head area. Here's a picture of us at the Okaya Rods and Reels booth. Uh, that's our friends Jake and Jordan that came with us today.